Hello, I'm Stephanie Spica and this is your NRA ILA Grassroots News Minute for Friday, May 2nd. While the NRA displayed its strength at our annual meeting in Indianapolis, Michael Bloomberg proved the old adage, there are just some things that money can't buy. The self-anointed gun control super nanny's latest anti-gun groups, Moms Demand Action and Every Town for Gun Safety, are having even worse luck than his first one, Mayors Against Illegal Guns. The New York Times has reported that former Pennsylvania Governor Tom Ridge, an assault weapon ban supporter, quote, has unexpectedly resigned from the board of Michael R. Bloomberg's new gun control effort, citing his discomfort with some of the political work the group has been planning, unquote. Ridge's resignation recalls the same sort of embarrassing and high-profile defections that likely contributed to Bloomberg's decision to rebrand Mayors Against Illegal Guns in the first place. Now, with the new umbrella group barely a week old, history is repeating itself. Indeed, Moms and Everytown continue to fall well short of Bloomberg's goal of making gun control appear mainstream. The groups have so far focused their efforts on press releases and a television commercial accusing the NRA of trying to subvert public safety through its legislative advocacy. This is ironic, as the NRA remains not only the leading advocate of the Second Amendment, but the leading provider of gun safety training and education. While Bloomberg continues with his typical antics, make no mistake that he remains steadfastly focused on the eradication of your rights. His continued failure and the NRA's continued success, both at the polls and in the court of public opinion, depend on you. Be sure to get involved by liking the National Rifle Association on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash National Rifle Association and by following us on Twitter at NRA.